In 2014, a crack toy fixer was banished from the forums for talking about repairing vintage toys. Undeterred, this man promptly set up his own YouTube channel, located in the Somerset Underground. Today, still wanted by hardcore Star Wars collectors, he survives as a maverick toy restorer. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find him, maybe Toy Ploy can help you. Welcome to Toy Ploy. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Skeletor and I pick up any Skeletors I can find. And as you can see here, this is my collection of Battle Armor Skeletors. Now, the big problem with uh, Battle Armor Skeletor is that the Battle Armor part of him tends to break quite easily. So you often find them with that section not working. If I show you this uh, Battle Armor Skeletor here, this guy actually works. So what happens if we tap his chest like that, it flips over and then it flips over again to show different amounts of damage. So it's a fairly simple system with a little sort of spring and a rotating piece that uh, shows various amounts of damage. But this is quite often how you find them. The uh, spring has sort of given up. This one is a really weak spring, doesn't actually have anything left. It's all pressure left on it and it barely rotates around. And this one here won't click in place. You can see you rotate it and it just won't stay in place. And it's a pretty awkward toy to get apart. So that's what we're gonna work on today, trying to open up this Skeletor and fixing the battle armor on him. So this is the Skeletor we're going to work on. This has the sort of most common problem I found, which is that the, the uh, armor piece doesn't stay in place. It still rotates around, but it just won't click down. So what we've got to do is take Skeletor apart. Now, these are very tricky figures to get apart because they're uh, two pieces of the body sort of glued together with pegs and all sorts inside. So first thing we have to do is actually remove his arms. And that's fairly straightforward. We just have to ping those off. And then we need to split the body. Now, the plastic used on the battle armor skeleton is fairly sturdy which is really what sort of makes it possible to get him apart and what we're actually going to do is hit him on the side with a hammer so I'm going to take this out into my garage I'm going to use a piece of wood to rest it on and then just gently tap on the uh, sort of arm peg on this side and then turn him over and tap on the arm peg on that side and at some point you'll hear the sound of the hammer change and you'll know that the plastic has sort of sprung apart and you really only want to split the top section to start with uh, but you'll notice a big difference in the sound and once that's happened you know that you can get the rest of the skeletal apart. So let's go and give him a tap with a hammer and we'll get the, this skeletal split open. So with just a couple of gentle taps you can see what happens the body splits all the way up the side and this is not cracking the plastic this is just cracking the glue that holds everything together and it really is only a gentle tap you need to do don't go sort of really hammering it hard with the hammer because uh, you will end up breaking the plastic and you can clearly hear a sound when uh, the two parts start to uh, sort of move apart and then all you need to do is get a, a knife or something and you can sort of pry open the rest of it and I'm going to do this again this quite carefully just to break the last bits of plastic. There you go. And we've now managed to open up a skeletal. Actually, if I hold these two bits together, you'll see that there's no visible damage to it whatsoever. Uh, so now we can just carry on and sort out what's gone wrong with this mechanism. So with this skeleton, I would say what's happened is it's got wet over the years. You can see there's quite a lot of rust on uh, the little spring there and also a lot of uh, rust and sort of debris inside the uh, main barrel section. So I'm going to give this just a really good wash in some hot soapy water, get all of the sort of dirt and grime out of the inside of this. And then I'm also going to just drop this into some uh, white vinegar for half an hour just to get the rust off and clean it up and then we can try putting it back together so that's the body sections cleaned as you can see here they're looking quite a lot neater and sort of nicer a little bit wet inside there but that will dry off with time you can see in the back section there again it's just a bit damp and then this is the spring in some plain white vinegar which you can pick up at any supermarket and I'm going to leave that for a few hours just to uh, let the vinegar do its sort of job and remove the rust and stuff that's on the uh, sort of surface of that spring so we'll come back to this in a couple of hours. 
So here is everything all cleaned up. This is the spring, as you can see, all the rust has been removed and it's looking quite nice. So it means that we can now put everything back together. And putting this figure back together is actually pretty easy. And it seems that the uh, problem really is a very minor one. What happens is the spring sort of pings out of place. So here is the chest section. You can see I've actually got this upside down just because I'm going to put this sort of together upside down. And you put the spring in this side and inside it sort of hooks onto a little post you can see just in the back there is a tiny post and that's what stops the inner part of the spring sort of turning around as you turn the outer section and this long sort of peg or this long bit of wire that comes out of the spring that is what catches on the inside of the chest and stops it from also you, that's what is used to power the spring mechanism so you can see I'm just holding this with my finger at the moment and you can see everything sort of rotates around if I do this and you can now see that that has got some sort of welly to it and if I push it it should unclick and rotate round which is what happens. So really all that happens to make this go wrong is this bit of wire sort of pings up so it's in this top sort of area it should be down here in the bottom and sometimes this is bent sometimes it's not. I've taken a few of these apart to see what happens so here's another one that wasn't working and this was just a little bit bent so I've straightened out the wire and put it back in the place and it all works again. So the tricky part really is actually getting everything back together with it's all in the correct place. So I'm going to start this again and I'll go through the whole process of showing you how this should fix together. So to put Skeletor back together we get the spring and we put it in the left side of the barrel. This is actually upside down so it's sort of you're looking at the front of Skeletor. So we put that in that end and then we can place that into the chest. Make sure it's in the right place and we want to rotate the chest panel around a few times so that the uh, spring has some tension on it and you have to sort of ping this out of its uh, final resting place to do that. And we're going to rotate it round so that the uh, proper sort of unbroken damage part of uh, Skeletor is facing forwards. Now comes the tricky part because you want to keep that wire pointing downwards but we've also got to put everything back together. So we take Skeletor's legs and we drop those in the correct way round and we take Skeletor's head and we pop that into the top section and then we take the back of the torso and we need to drop this on but also keep the spring in the sort of downwards position. I found the easiest way to do this is actually just take a knife or something like that and then you can just hold that in place like so. Oops, as you see it does want to sort of ping out so you just got to sort of manually move everything, hold it in place and then you can take the back and drop it on there. Sometimes the wire will sort of want to push out the side and you can just drop that back in by hand. You can see that's a all in the right area and now you could glue this together. I've uh, glued a couple of them but actually you don't need to really. If you just put the arms back on it does hold everything in place really nicely. Let's just put these two bits on like so and the whole body is held together really firmly so you can glue it if you want but you don't have to. I mean, let's just check that this mechanism works. I'm going to rotate that around to the full position, tap it that works, tap it again, it works and we can still do that. So you can see that uh, battle armour is working quite nicely and it's a fairly straightforward job as I say. So while I'm at it I'll put this other skeleton back together as well. And here we have my army of battle armour skeletons all now with their battle armour working. I've taken apart five of these all in the same way and they all work just as well. It's really quite uh, easy once you get the hang of just tapping them with a hammer the bodies seem to crack open pretty easily and there's no damage to any other parts of the figure so that's a really good thing to know. Now I haven't actually had a chance to try this on any of the He-Man characters because I only got a couple of these and they're all working so it seemed a bit of a silly thing to do is to break them apart when they work. Um, I would hope it would work the same although the plastic used on the he-Man's chest is slightly different. The plastic used on Skeletor is a very hard plastic so liable to crack when you tap it with the hammer. This stuff seems a little bit more flexible so I'd like to do some tests on this before I say it's the exact same process for this one. So if anyone has any uh, broken battle armor Skeletors that they'd like to donate to Toyploy get in touch because I'd certainly like to have a go and see if it works just as well on this. But for the moment I'm going to say it's a perfect fix for Skeletor and potentially it will work on He-Man but until I've tested it I don't want to say it's a a definite fix for him. So it's certainly worth doing a few more tests if I can get some broken battle armor he mans to uh, have a go with. So I hope this video has been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.